Ariel 4 has shown really quite clearly that rucaparib is an effective orally available alternative treatment to intravenous chemotherapy in patients that have a BRCA mutation and that have been treated with at least two prior lines of chemotherapy. And I think this is very good news for patients that we know that there is an effective oral alternative to chemotherapy in this situation. Aerial 4 is the first study that has actually looked at compar direct comparison of a PARP inhibitor against platinum and non-platinum chemotherapy in a phase three randomized trial. And it shows that rucaparib is an effective option for, the, for these women who have had, again, at least two prior lines of chemotherapy and have a germline or somatic BRCA mutation. So I think this is really important data. Um, and the fact that, that rucaparib has been compared head to head with both platinum and non-platinum chemotherapy is really a, a very decisive um, part of this study that informs the community in a way that we haven't uh, had information before. I think another very exciting finding from Ariel 4 is that patients who were found to have a BRCA reversion mutation uh, on gardened assessment and circulating blood at the point of entry into the study were shown to have a less good benefit from rucaparib. And this is what we would anticipate that if patients have developed a reversion mutation, that they may not benefit from a PARP inhibitor. And I think this information tells us that maybe there's a, quite a straightforward way to understand uh, prospectively whether a patient may or may not benefit from a PARP inhibitor.